was doing some hip presses today in the bed and um, these work on the tricep muscles a little bit uh, it could have gone either way whether I I could have had the my wheelchair cushion underneath me or not but uh, since I'm lazy I just I figured not to put my wheelchair under, cushion underneath me this time I I put I added a little bit of weight just a couple pounds on the ends there uh, it's like two two and a half pounds or something like that on each dumbbell so it wasn't a big thing um, but the the uh, presses you know weren't too bad uh, what I try to do is I try to uh, pinch my shoulder blades together in the back and uh, kind of pop out my chest uh, so that I get good uh, a tricep work I try and get a good a decent tricep workout and uh, I worked up a pretty pretty decent sweat actually um, uh, usually it's a little bit harder to work up a sweat in the winter um, but we are, I think it, today was the last day of, uh, uh, the official last day of winter. So it's starting to get a little bit warmer. And so what I do is I turn on the fan above the bed and, uh, uh, even though it's kind of chilly, kind of nippy when I first start these exercises, then after I do a few sets, a couple sets, then, uh, and I do some repetitions in the repetitions in the sets. Then I start getting a pretty good, pretty good. Uh, I start getting warmed up pretty nicely. Um, just on a, as an aside, I was, uh, you know, I was looking at uh, just some daily news and things like that. Uh, and one of the things that they were talking about was bringing back like the saber tooth tiger or bringing back the woolly mammoth or bringing back the dodo bird um, from they were the the extinct uh, animals and you know I've heard them talk about these things before uh, they mentioned those things before they were gonna bring back the extinction they uh, you know the the animals that have been extinct for a while. Um, they're even talking about bringing back. I think it's a um, kind of a, a fish, a big couple of big fish. Uh, they're trying to. They're thinking about bringing those back. Uh, so they're they're thinking about bringing a lot of different animals back and. You know, personally, if you were to ask me what animal I would want them to bring back, uh, most mostly, uh, I mean, sure, it would be nice to see the saber-toothed tiger, but uh, you know, I, I would be more interested in seeing the woolly mammoth. You know, I, I'm more of a I'm more more of an elephant guy, so I I like more. I would be more interested in like the woolly mammoth, bringing back the woolly mammoth. Uh, what they have to do, um, and I listened to uh, Machio uh, Kaku. He was saying that uh, they can bring back the dinosaurs, uh, but then I looked today on the news and they said they couldn't do that. Because the DNA has been degraded so much, um, but I think if they brought back the woolly mammoth, that would be kind of cool. Because the woolly mammoth, I think it eats pretty much. It's a herbivore, and so it eats grasses and vegetables and uh, you know um, things like that it, I don't think that it's necessarily a meat eater and uh, grasses and trees and and, uh, and vegetables and, and stuff 
Um, so I don't think it's a meat eater. So preferably I would want to bring that animal back instead of a meat eater because if you brought back the saber tooth tiger, oh, it'd be really cool and stuff like that. It'd be really neat uh, to see. But then it could be really dangerous too because it has those huge fangs. You know, uh, I mean, it, I mean, it could, if, if the handler, if the person that was feeding it didn't do, didn't, didn't follow specific rules, then, you know, they would get, they would get killed very quickly. I mean, the, the guy from Barnum Bailey, he got killed by a tiger. And that wasn't a saber two tiger, um, so I mean, that, but there's lots of well, that, this happened or that happened, and that's why they got attacked by that saber two tiger, or that, well, that's why he got attacked by that tiger. But I think that it would be best to bring back a woolly mammoth, or you know, if they want to start with something simpler, then they could start with a dodo bird. You know, um, that that way they would have more of, they could, I think they could do it, do the uh, creation of a dodo bird, try a few times, many times, the dodo bird, because it is a smaller animal, and the woolly mammoth is larger, so it would probably be harder to 